Alright guys, I'm gonna make this video short because I recorded this before and it didn't really go how I wanted it to because I ran out of memory, but I wanted to make this video short on GDDR6X memory. Now, a lot of cards have issues uh, throttling while mining and while gaming. Uh, this is a 3080 4 to one 3 Ultra. I replaced thermal pads on it. This is a 3070 Ti. I've kept it as is, hasn't ever reached anything past 90C while mining, so had no issues there. That's a 6800 XT, uh, never touched that. But what I wanted to talk about mostly, because everyone knows the 3080s, thermal pads aren't really that great. Now excuse the noise, that's my AC and the computers in the room. But the 3080 Ti uses 12 gigs of GDDR6X memory. Now if I zoom in here, you can see I put a thermal pad right in between those aluminum heat pipes and there is some paste as well because uh, I've noticed while mining Raven this card went to 108 degrees Celsius while it hit the 100% memory load. So basically I had to take apart the cooler i had to take uh that little metal spring that was on there off I had to put paste under it because they didn't put enough from factory i didn't change any of the thermal pads at all i kept it stock but i put this thermal pad right there now i don't know if that made the difference or if the thermal paste made the difference but i didn't really put that much um memory whatever was on the memory was by accident but if I go here, the card is at 86C on the memory temperatures. It used to be 108 degrees Celsius while hitting that 100% memory load. Now it's mining at 320 lower wattage. I know that's high, but that's where I've seen the most profitability with this card. Mining Raven. Now it's at 750 millivolts. I'm getting around 52 mega hash. Uh, you can see everything there. Now, if I go to my afterburn, there it is. You can see I did 1433 on the memory, 90% power limit, and we're right around 1600 megahertz, 750 millivolts. Now, that doesn't really matter because uh, for some reason this coin always locks at 750 or lower for some reason just my case i know everyone's different but right around 52 mega hash now when i mined the octopus it did 105 mega hash and yes i use nice hash get over it uh it's just what i like to use right now and i've always used it if you look at see here let me zoom out so octopus actually does around 100 to 105 mega hash beam says 60 i'm pretty sure that's accurate kapow aka raven it's over 50 um ethereum does 71 but drops to 65 64 66 around there so around 30 70 6800 xt level but the power usage is 210 watts on there. Um, those I don't really mind, so I don't know. I know about Ethereum and all that, but I'm pretty sure these mine a bit higher. It just switched to Ethereum just now because of the profitability. Um, so let me show you that case scenario. So I have the voltage locked and everything locked. And you can see we're drawing 215 watts. The memory goes a lot colder because the load is at 66%. But if I let it mine here, you can see 65 mega hash. Nothing too crazy, nothing great. But uh, I'm gonna shut this monitor off. I just wanted to show you guys that the memory temperatures for this card specifically I was able to lower it with that one little trick 
with the thermal pad in between the heat pipes and changing the thermal paste around the actual cooler itself. Um, it's good to see I got these other cards mining. And yeah, so the 3070 Ti never hit above 90C on the memory and it's at 100%. But my 3080 seems to be struggling slightly. Where is it? There it is. So basically with GDDR6X, you have to take care of those thermal pads. If you see it's getting too hot, if you have a more traditional design like the EVGA cards. But um, if you have an MSI card or a card that uses better thermal pads from the factory, all you really have to do is Make sure you change that thermal paste for the pipe on the uh, the cooler itself because the cooler was flawed design. And yeah, so hopefully this shows you the 3080 Ti mining performance. I know I wasn't very in depth with it, but hopefully I could give you guys an idea of how it's mining. Um, honestly, for mining, I'd still rather have 3080 it mines 100 mega hash for me uh for the two cards i had i got rid of the aos card but still gonna keep growing got another rig there and i have this frame right here that i'm gonna be putting all this stuff into when i have the time so hopefully you guys like these videos i'm gonna be making more videos uh hopefully i can make a video on how to get these cards because i know it's very hard right now um i know you guys are either miners or you're gamers and you're mad at me for having these cards but um hopefully i can make a video and help you guys get these cards easier because even i struggle to get some cards sometimes sometimes you just have to pay more to get what you want these strix cards are pretty expensive 3080 ti strix is two thousand dollars 3070 ti strix thousand dollars EVGA slightly more expensive, the 3080 Ti is fourteen hundred dollars, so not as bad as the Strix card or the MSI or the Zotac. Zotac's terrible with the pricing, but uh, I don't really know what this video is gonna be called. Either 3080 Ti mining performance, I don't know. But hopefully you guys get the gist of it. The GDDR six X memory has terrible cooling efficiency until you actually uh set it up properly so yeah hopefully you guys learn change those pads i know sometimes it voids the warranty but i'd rather you guys have a card that lasts longer and doesn't die on you because of heat because 108 110 degrees you know anything over 100 is unacceptable in my opinion micron states 95 c to 105 is acceptable but it's really should be under that temperature because uh those chips really need to stay cool or you're gonna run into instability issues but yeah hopefully you guys like subscribe for more videos like this and i'll be seeing you guys soon